Um, this is, I'd like to make a, make a motion to uh, my fellow commissioners. I would like to request the Geauga County Prosecutor to give the Board of Geauga County Commissioner, Commissioners a legal opinion and procedural advice so that commissioners can move forward in accordance with the Ohio Revised Code 340.02 in the removal process of the members of the Board of Mental Health. So moved. Second. Aye. Aye. Motion stands approved. <coughs> we'll give you one that's got those signatures. Oh, okay. Yeah, you have to do both of them. The second motion here that I would like to bring forward for the commissioner's review and request to approve is I would like to make a motion to request the Geauga County Prosecutor for an opinion as to whether the Geauga County Board of Developmental Disabilities can assume the role and responsibilities of the Geauga County Board of Mental Health. So moved. Second. Commissioner Mayor. Aye. Commissioner Spinelli. Aye. Motion stands approved. And the third motion that I would like to put forward for review and Mr. Rear, Dave Blair, <coughs> and a copy here. To my fellow commissioners, I would like to make a motion to request review by the Geauga County Prosecutor's Office to take action to rescind all appropriations towards the Mental Health Board that is funded by the General Fund. In addition to this review, I ask that the funds be directed to another agency that will oversee the use of the funds in a fiscally responsible manner so that those, that those services that those funds support are not affected in any way. The funds will be reallocated to the Mental Health Department when there is a new CEO and board in place to responsibly handle the spending of these funds, unlike the current CEO, James Clark Adams, and the current Board of Mental Health. I would like to table this vote until Tuesday, April 29th, to give Prosecutor Flays ample time to review this matter and to have the availability of all three commissioners to vote on and discuss this issue. So just like to just table it, but put it out there so that okay, you're not looking for action on yeah, this tonight. I just right. like all to right. I'd right. like to just table it for tonight so that we could have all three of the commissioners to be able to, uh, you know, I would like to have input on, on all three of the commissioners. Um, my concern is this is what the last thing, and I think that this is felt across the the entire board, and that's one of the biggest reasons that I brought this forward is is the last thing that we want to do is to hurt the members of this county that need these services by, by, by the Board of Mental Health. And at the end of the day, um, the best judge of future performance is past performance, and we saw that there is the, the inability to fiscally manage responsibly the funds within their organization, as they've proven with the outrageous salary increases that they've had. And, and I, I believe that... Um, you know, last night's meeting uh, displayed the the position of the um, level of disbelief that there's really anything wrong, that there's any, you know, it, it comes down to responsibility that um, I, I fear that, that the members of this community that need these services ultimately are going to be affected, um, you know, by the fact that people have a strong level of distrust and I don't want those people to suffer the consequences of irresponsible spending. And I think that we have a lot of departments within this county that have proven good track records of having responsible spending. And I think that at that point we can allocate those funds that we have out of our general fund, our levy fund, obviously our hands, I believe, are tied. 
but as far as the general fund dollars that we have is to forward those to somebody else that can, you know, and I would like to just put that to the prosecutor to give us some guidance on what we can do. That, that's my question. I ask that the funds be directed to another agency that will oversee the use of the funds. Do we have another agency in mind? Well, well can, I, can I comment on sure. this? I mean, the, this, is, this is for the funding of the youth center. And the arrangement was made a number of years ago that Ravenwood employees would operate the youth center. And since the mental health department or the mental health board had an established uh, relationship with Ravenwood, it was decided that the general fund transfer that in effect paid for that oversight by Ravenwood would go through mental health. But I would think those monies could originate from somewhere else and go to Ravenwood rather than if that's what the board wanted to do. Right. My question was just... You know, it's like a player to be named later. Uh, just one other agency. Right. I mean, I don't. Well, get, I mean, and I, and I, I, I don't. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm. I'm. I guess the first one that kind of comes to my my thought is is the juvenile court division that uses that that facility probably the most that that sends them that, well, yes, that sends yeah. those their parties to the youth hall. Right. Right. So I, I mean, that's that's somebody that first came to my mind was. You know the potential to just turn this over to the juvenile well, court. Well, it used to be it used to be the juvenile court employees who were actually there, so the commissioners funded the juvenile court for that activity. And then with the changeover, okay, the Raymond running, and then the money just went through mental health. I mean, the money could even originate from this office and go to to the Ray, to Ravenwood conceivably. Right. I don't know how many transactions it is, or what kind of workload that is. I, right. I don't think it's that big. Of a and, deal, and, I don't know. I guess just to go on record is my, my position on this is that today has been a very, very um, incredible day with the amount of people that I've received telephone calls from, um, visits from, in, in the sense that it was pretty much, I would say, every three to four minutes I received a, a call from someone out of this community that, and out of the county that basically... Um, is in disbelief and, and absolute um, sickened with the fact that something like this is occurring in our county, and 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 they, you know, graciously thanked me in a position of saying it's great to have this exposed, and and they just they basically want action. They 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 feel that um, you know this is extreme that, uh, that 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 the people on the board, along with the director, is still remaining on that, you know, in that position, and the board is, is taking a position of basically just disregarding the request, and uh, they feel that there's, they, they want action, and they, they demand that something be done, and the biggest thing that they have requested is they do not, if there is anything that the commissioners can control, they have said they do not want one penny to be is assigned to the Board of Mental Health until there is a complete changeover in that department. And and it's, there's just a huge level of distrust and a huge level of, of you know, just uncertainty that they just, you know, and I think that as, as, as a county commissioner and as that I serve the, 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 the people that put us here, I can at least try to make this, this request and request it to the prosecutor to see what legally we can and cannot do. <coughs> Again, the last sentence, uh, Flace gives you some reasonable assurance that he'll have answers for us. By, I mean, it was you know, late, just, the I, night of the 28th, yeah, which I, is Monday know, night. I, I yeah. put the 29th out yeah, there. It has to go past that. No, oh, oh, okay. Because I, I just, just I just put that because that's the next meeting. I right, just want right, to make okay. sure. That I, I, I want to be able to give all the commissioners an opportunity Right now, that's a placeholder, on. right? Yeah. Okay, I understand because I'm thinking yeah. he's got tomorrow and Monday, right. and I'm yeah. not sure that. No, no, no. Uh, if, the, if it needs to go past the uh, the, the Tuesday, okay. I just I just okay. did it for the okay. next meeting no that the three of us so we could would add be in there here. So, or at a later. Right. Time. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But nothing that we're going to take action on tonight, other than than accepting the fact that we could table this until you know until no we problem get with that. <coughs> as long as as long as we have answers from. Yeah, because there's a lot of questions that I don't mean to insult you, but neither you nor I have the expertise right. to answer. Yeah. And that's, that's why I don't I don't want to take put a, words uh, in your mouth, but I don't know. Absolutely, and that's why I don't want to take a legal position. I'm not an attorney, nor yeah, do I, I claim I, to be. 
and I, I think that that's, that's why we've got a prosecutor's office with the professionals there to give us the best guidance of what we can and can't do according to law. So that's the best I could put it. So do we need to actually uh, make a motion on this, or do we just... Who's going to make a motion to table it? I move to table a... Uh, uh, Second. Commissioner Aye. Commissioner Aye. Aye. Motion is tabled until further. Well, 29th or... Yep. Or later. Okay. 